the function linist can do things that trend can't do and reverse. Let's start with the trend function first. Say we have paired observations for people of a certain age and their forced vital capacity, which is a pulmonary function. And the relationship between those two is plotted in this scatter graph or XY graph. And as you can see, there is a clear relationship between the two. It's almost a linear trend line. So you can put this trend line inside the chart or the graph, but you can also calculate the points for this observation, for that observation, etc. So what are the expected observations? The trend function can do that. However, when you use the trend function for this kind of situations, you have to highlight all the cells ahead of time. And then you put in the trend function, what are the known y's, b2 through b10, the known axes, and this is what they call an array function. That means it returns multiple values. It gives expected or predicted values for all these paired observations. So you accept this with control, shift, enter at the same time. And these are the values that you would expect if there were a linear relationship between column A and column B. So these are the observed values. These are the predicted values. And the difference between those two are the residuals. Trend is more powerful than you might think. It can also do its job if you have multiple independent variables. Column D has the dependent variable. It depends on not only your age, but also your height and your weight, let's say. So if you had only correlated age with force vital capacity, these were the figures from Trent. This time we are going to do a little more. This is a multifactorial relationship. So in our formula we have the known y's are d2 through d10. So highlight those values ahead of time. It's a multi-array formula. d2 through d10. The known axes are not only A2 through A10, but also through C10. Don't forget Control shift enter You see these are a little different from the other ones because we have more factors that interpret things. Trend can do that and can predict what would be the case if there is a linear relationship between force vital capacity and three other factors, age, height and weight. Linist does something else. I have the same data here again in this section, but now we are going to use Linist. What does Linist do? Linist can work with one dependent factor or multiple independent factors. The factors are shown here. A0 is the intercept, A1 is the slope for the first variable, A2 for the second variable, and you can go up to AN, the nth variable. So please be aware that Linist is going to show you all these results. So it doesn't predict like we did here, but it gives you slopes and intercepts. Besides, it also gives you the standard error for each slope and for the intercept. And then it gives you, if you want to, R squared, whatever that is I will explain in my book and in my CD, the standard error of Y, the variance, the degrees of freedom, and two more factors that I will not explain here but in my books and in CDs. 
So what do you do? You select multiple cells again. You have to select as many rows as you want to include. One, two, three, four, five. How many factors? One, two, three, plus intercept. So I need four columns. The formula is linest. The known y's are, of course, d9 through d17. The known axes are a9. Let me highlight them. Through c17. The third parameter or argument is a logical value set to true, calculated normally. And the last one is important to know. Do you want additional regression statistics? Those are the ones I shown here. I said, yes, I do want true one or true is the same. I do want that. And it shows you here multiple results. And they are going to be plotted in this way. Here is only the formula result for the first cell that we happen to be in. Don't forget, Control Shift Enter. And these are the values. So if you want to predict what force vital capacity would be based on these things, you would have to multiply each factor. Let's say in this case, you would multiply on the next sheet. We did all of that. We have many more data. This is the curve for all these things. This section, I calculated the correlation between age and force vital capacity, between weight and force vital capacity. The last one is one, of course, that is force vital capacity with itself. So A2 through A41 in the first cell compared to correlation with D2 through D41, but D2 D41 is always D2, D41. So we lock that by using the F4 key. For more information on that, buy my book or CD-ROM. So there is a high though negative correlation with age, a good one with height, but hardly any with weight. So probably weight is not a factor that you should include, but let's keep it in there. Had we used trend, trend would do all of this in one step, correct? D2 through D41 versus A2 through C41. But if you want to use Linus on this one, then you need the Linus test first. And Linus has other advantages. It also shows you what the standard error of those factors is. Again, Linus would be D through, through D41, that's column D, A2 through C41, three variables, statistics additional, one, yes, and we got these results. So if I want to use these results to calculate the Linus prediction, then I would do, as I said before, the height times the slope of the height, the weight times the slope of the weight, the age times the slope of the age plus the intercept. And you will see the results are completely identical. Why would you use Linus in a case like this? Because you want to know sometimes the standard error of all these things. Besides, you will get the R squared value. And the R squared value is exactly the same as you would have gotten here if you had a simple linear relationship. I'm sure you have still many questions left. Statistics is not easy. So I developed for you many more tools. Three CDs, one, two, three, take your pick. Two books, if you prefer books. You can find them at genesispc.com.